Welcome to the brand new Open Go FC podcast. Oh, it's not. I, I wouldn't have started it. <laughs> <laughs> I knew. I thought you were going to give me another two submissions last night. So I was meant to do it. I don't know why he's stuck. He's sitting there. I don't know why I'm here, boys. I was saying, what's yeah. your name, son? What's your name, boys? What is it? I am Jeff. Thanks for having me, boys. It's a pleasure to be here. The presence of the gaffer of the team. The coach and the club pundit. The, the, what, the what, sorry? The coach, player coach. All right, all right. Sorry, I, I got that one in. <laughs> yeah. No, brought to you by Who Knows Wins. But can we tell the Broadfoot story before we start? This is your podcast, oh, mate. Oh, mate. Shat myself. Obviously, I top know. ten, I put them in my worst. What was I thinking? What, what, what was your actual words? So, so know, just a bit of background that. on it as well. See, when Broadfoot <laughs> met me, he was like, ah, just one problem. And I was like, ah, what can this be, man? And he was like, ah, Slenny fucking slaughtered me on a podcast. But does he do oh, no. Mate, I, I remembered it straight away. I was did like, you? did he? <laughs> I <laughs> could remember it. He's like, I, I'll need to apologise to this. So I, I phoned him and he was, you were a wreck, weren't you? A wreck because he, he's no, <laughs> do you know what? He's, he's a scary guy, isn't he? But he's scary. His huh? eyes, it's like when you talk to somebody and you, their eyes are lit. You don't know what's going <laughs> I don't on. I know what he's thinking. But <laughs> if the first day he came, I was fucking all the place that morning, wasn't I? Then when he came in, I was like, I said, I think I was, I don't know if the boys were there, but I went in the corner, shouted him there, didn't I? Apologise about seven times to him. <laughs> But Can't he was gaining you nothing back, eh? No, nothing. Aye. Just doing right through, so... No, but he's been brilliant, hasn't he? He's I was going to ask player. how he's settled in, is he? You know, he's brilliant, brilliant for the boys, brilliant for me as well, isn't he? Yeah. Looks after me, didn't he? No, <laughs> no, he's brilliant, he really is. No, he's good. He's um, very receptive to information, yeah. mate, at 37, which is what you want to... Eh? Because sometimes when you get signed players like that, you do worry, are they going to just do it yeah. their way? But no, nah, he's been absolutely excellent. We send him the videos after every game. He wants videos after every game. He wants yeah. to analyse it. Um and he's just great with the boys, mate, especially other centre backs. You've got two young centre backs, Regan and Jacob. So you, if you watch him for the side, mate, he's always on at them, always yeah. telling them, helping them. But not just helping them, mate. If they're not doing something right, he's on them straight away, which Aye. which is the benefit. That's what you need. Kurt Broadfoot, mate. Did you ever play against him? I think I maybe did. Says you can't fucking. <laughs> say they love playing against you. Because of that. I, 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 loved, I think I love playing against him. Oh. Oh. Right. We'll take, that, we'll take that away. Oh, he's actually, I know something about his armor, but he is actually very good on the ball. And he technically is really good. Well, we met the other day and somebody says that when we announced him, so I try and stay off Twitter now. Aye. Um, people are saying, oh, Sai wants to play it for the back and go and sign Kirk Broadfoot. Mate, people will be in for a shock. Or we played Johnston Burrow on the bobbiest pitch you've ever seen Saturday. Right. And he's yeah. fucking firing the ball right. and popping it and set up the goal with a lovely through ball to Evan. So, no, he can play, mate. He did a lovely of course, exactly, oh, mate. Yeah, right. But again, he's probably played in teams that have wanted to yeah. go yeah. direct well. quite a lot, whereas yeah. we want to play, mate, and it suits him at a He's been excellent. All right, well, there's plenty to get into, lads. We should probably explain why I'm sitting here with you lads today, but it is a brand new podcast, Si. Uh, as gaffer of this, I'll be grilling you a little bit today, I'm sure, getting Good. some answers out of you, mate. But no, brought to you by Who Knows Wins, guys. This will be a new weekly podcast from Open Goal Broomhill FC, bringing you all the news and stories from the dressing room. I'm bringing some guests from the lower league and junior football on it as well. It sounds brilliant. Uh, you looking forward to this new venture for the podcast? I'm not having nothing to do with it. <laughs> leaving it completely up to you. Me and you, uh, Paul, then. So fuck knows, it could be, it could be, it could be done soon. Job. Ah, you, ah, 100%. We're just getting you ready for that. I'm paying you to speak. I'm on you to do. <laughs> you, want your old you want your old job back? You want your old job back? <laughs> <laughs> you know not. Yeah, I can't believe in this t-shirt, I'm no joking. <laughs> Mate, look, it's still looks quite slim, isn't it? Yeah, he's looking good. good. He's looking good. good. I can't wait to. I can't wait to comment it on the first game. Are oh, you doing the commentary, big boy? When you when you take to the field, John Watts and that. <laughs> no, <laughs> big Clive Townsend. Clive Townsend. No, it's nobody call her the female one. Oh, Laura. No, no. Is it? Oh, big uh, Ailey. Uh, no. no. You can't call it Barber. No, 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 you can't no, no. say that. Balding, Claire Balding. Claire Balding. Claire Balding. Claire Balding. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I would, I'd pay, I'll pay good money to see you put that polo shirt on. No. That would be a bad idea. You'll win wild in Turkey. Food was good in Turkey, what? You can tell. I had a 10 day stint in Turkey and it was, the all inclusive was decent. So you've been on holiday, but have you had time to prepare for the commentary, Kev? I had no, the game no, against Spain. No, 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 time to prepare. <laughs> no, he'll never turn up prepared, mate. Just no. to let just to get to let you know. <laughs> you commentate in everything, didn't you? But but who's not you commentate, didn't you? Aye. To practice. I phoned, I phoned my, my oldest son. I told him I was doing the commentary, and he says, "I've got comedy." No, he's back to me. You did the commentary, <laughs> right? He says, "If you want any advice, give me a give me a shout." He says, "I've just won champ uh, champ league manager on the computer with Partick Thistle." Is that your older so, boy? Aye. Uh, no having him. No. <laughs> <laughs> big stupid boy <laughs> no. are you going to be one of the commentators though because I've seen them put on a different accent when they're commentating I think you're doing I think I could, Andy think, Halliday I on Radio was, uh, <laughs> building up to that experience last year of doing all the accents I think it's oh, perfect in a different accent a different accent brilliant 
Each time we could do like a, I could do an American day. Aye, or I could be like a big mad rowdy cowboy fucking commentator. <laughs> Who's your co commentator? Who's your co commentator? Uh, what's his name? What's his name? Slosh. What's his name? Slosh. Moza. 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 Good guy. Slosh. Uh-huh. Luke Who Sloshy. can we get a Derek? <laughs> Derek Ferguson. Derek uh-huh. Ferguson. Where has he beat me? Where has he been? <laughs> <laughs> on that moped with Gerante. He's waiting at the German shop. He's jumped on Italy bandwagon, isn't he? Who did it? Oh, he's got a ball on you. But who's ah, Ferguson? Well done, girl. Well done. Ah, what is he's now doing this. He's talking, putting his fingers up. No, already. Ah, aye, already. So, what about Josh Doig's reveal as well with the, the bond jacket and everything? Pathetic. <laughs> what was the what was the bond thing? I didn't get it. I don't know. I'm no, the most pathetic one was the embellies for Barcelona. Oh, aye. just scrubbed off the team. Should have just done a cop, shouldn't he? That's what you did. That's what you did. By the way, talk about the the sponsors back. Who knows, Ben? How amazing is that? Come back, yeah. It's that's been a long time, man. And they were unbelievable for us, weren't they? Mm-hmm. Um, we, we loved them to bits. They treated us amazing, one of the biggest in the whole yeah, wide world. Definitely. And we have them back on board. Um, it's the most special spieling, uh, feeling in the whole wide world, isn't it? Front of spieling. 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 <laughs> spieling. That was a good spiel there. Front of shirt. Front of shirt. So there'll be, really? so there'll be a who knows one printed on that fat fucking belly there. <laughs> 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 it might not fit in yours, but it'll definitely fit in mine. <laughs> Kevin, oh, you get a pull on it. No, well, the, the, what are you wearing commentary? I think one of the I think one of the big long kind of green farmer jacket type things. If there's not a fart John Collins there, I'm not I'm pleading in again. I'm just going to stand there and go, slow shot. <laughs> do you remember the Hamorakis commentary? Uh, do, right. <laughs> do you know who to try do you know who try to get to replace him? Who? The next week? Paul Slane. Derek didn't Ferguson, member. Uh, Derek, Derek asked you. Uh, so I've said I him, but then didn't want to take and turn the phone off. And the next week, member Derek Pilkney. Which I don't fuck me a bit against him. Uh, <laughs> uh, shut up, you want to. I can't do that. <laughs> but no, who knows wins are back on the fixture. There's some fantastic giveaways from Is who that? knows wins, isn't there? Yeah, uh, amazing. Plenty to give away. We've got. Um, Giving away a brand new open gold Broomhill FC top. Wow. Oh, magnificent. It's maybe the top the top beautiful. One. Beautiful. Tickets to the, the first game are up for grabs as well, which will be brilliant. Yeah. But obviously, we're encouraging everyone to go out and buy them if they can. But there's something to give away uh, against Spartan. So keep an eye on all the social media channels for the giveaways. Brilliant. Who so knows wins? They've been always brilliant with the gifts. They've been great. Always amazing. So. But well, no, who knows wins are back. Amazing. Amazing. Ah, amazing. Really amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Need support and uh, nothing better than getting who knows wins back. And it'll be great to see where the, this podcast goes. All going at the lower leagues and the juniors stuff. So aye, that's where you get some cracking stories as well. Well, I actually think there'll be better stories than uh, aye. the bigger the names top. that we've yeah. had. 100%. If I go host, and I, and I trust you, the new. If I go host, that will become bigger than the normal podcast. Thank there you, you go. go. Exclusive. Wow. There you go. How are you going to bring differently? <laughs> but I'll make it I'll date something just sit naked if you want <laughs> who's from the because a few of the lads from the team will be coming on as well Selena who will be decent from not the not one of them have got any personality no, no, I, was gonna, I was going to ask I'll look at their person I'll look at their careers and if they've no play death they'll not come on <laughs> Brock Watson's a bit of a character isn't he <laughs> Brock no where's he play <laughs> he's oh, a great boy he's he's a a he'll be perfect for he's that he's a great character I don't, they're, all of them are they're all good boys aren't yeah. they? so we'll get them on the side of the deal yeah. first session was that he came up and he's like I'm going to be stinking of goals this year you can have goals stinking he's not, not scored a goal since so <laughs> his predictions went well no, the, big one Saturday, the big one Saturday how are you feeling let's start with the can't wait mate obviously the pre-season stuff's yeah. but, we, but we've no trade like that we've told them we've done a play friendly so yeah. Boys have been at it. Really, really happy with them, honestly. Not just saying that for the cameras. It's been tough for them. Yeah. Six weeks, we demand a lot of them. I don't think anybody's missed a session. Mm-hmm. Every single player's got through every single run. Uh, they've tried to do what we've asked of them. Um, again, we're asking them to play completely different. Yeah. We want them to be brave all the time, go and get the ball in their half of the, the pitch, which they're maybe not used to. So only having them six weeks, but they're a lot further on than I expected them to be within six weeks. So. Yeah. No nerves at all, mate. Just really looking Sweet forward man. to seeing them. Good. Um, just hoping that we can get a massive crowd because yeah. I think that I, I think, think that'll make be. the difference for us. Yeah. I think there will be, as we've said since we started changing my life. The way they supported us through different, and uh, even with the friendly side, the friendlies have been amazing. The turnout. Yeah. What was a three hundred at Drum Chapel? Three hundred Drum Chapel. Five hundred Johnston Borough. So it's not just us as well. It'll be other clubs that are benefiting exactly. off it well, as well. That's, that's the thing with the fan base that we have. It's not just Glasgow and the centre belt. It's all over Scotland yeah. and yeah. some down in England. So like. People will see it as a day out one Saturday of or a course. Friday night, whenever we play. Friday night thing and, could be good. Aye, to yeah. come and visit, have a, a night and see the boys. and Because at the end of the day, like, there's a lot of things said, social media wise and stuff. Yeah. But this is serious shit. There's, yeah. a, there's an objective here. There's an objective is to try and do as well as the possible can and try and go up through the, the leagues. There's no joking about it. It's proper serious. So you're trying to make your way in your football career. Mm-hmm. Selene's trying to get yourself in the coaching career. I'm obviously trying to get myself on the telly. <laughs> 
<laughs> Come on, I'm right, right. So Come it's on like basis. it's not a joke. It's yeah. behind all the the, the the jokes and the carry on. This is serious stuff, yeah. and like, we want, to, want this to go well, want this to do well, and if we get a good support, they're not alone. But we want to bring exposure to this league oh, as well. Yeah. So exactly. again, we're talking about us playing Friday nights, but we're more than happy to go and play other teams on a Friday night yeah, because, yeah. say, it is an Edinburgh club. You get your Hearts fans, yeah, you get exactly. your Hibs fans at the game, so they're getting more people through the gate. Yep. So for me, the Friday Friday night thing's a no-brainer. Yeah. And again, pe- boys at that level getting played in front of big crowds, how often does that happen? Amazing. Well, you so mentioned we in your interview, that that's a big pull for when you're recruiting as well, isn't it? Naturally, because it's going to be a big crowd, good yeah. atmosphere, everything you want. It's a part of the reason why I took the job as well. Yeah. I've said that a few times. Yeah. I, I was at Peter, had a comfortable job, I enjoyed it, but the thought of playing in front of big crowds on a Friday night, yeah. with, with my team trying to win games of football, that's, that, that was a big part of the sell for me as well. Well, I've seen footage of how serious it is. There was I don't know if the clip's out yet. Are you in the dressing room and you're in the corner, like shiting or something? <laughs> 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 Tell me about that, aye. That was when I, was what the was first, that when the, the first friend I had? I heard that in the stands. Uh, I did. I did actually hear. Did you hear it? it? Oh, fucking hell, you were going for one. But you're you're going for it, but you're positive in what you believe in, and the boys seem to be soaking it up. I mean, Slaney was quivering in the corner. I shot myself in the corner, but the, no, boys. It's, it's, the message is is there. And but the again, boys look, I've, I've dealt with other. I, I'm, I've been like that with it, uh, eighteen months at Peterhead, and yeah, there's yeah. been players that have not responded to it and couldn't maybe not take it. But yeah. but these boys again have a go at them. Yeah, you take it. Move on, bang, that's it, forgotten about, and they go and, they go and try and do what we've asked them to do. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, even just how receptive they've been to that, because, like I say, at that so kind of level, you can get people that go, I oh, fuck him, I'm not, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll just fuck that yeah, off. Yeah. But not every single one of them, because we've said to them, it's, that, it's not personal. No, no. We're doing it because we're here to win. Yeah, exactly. And this is what I think we need at this time. So, um, just take it, get on with it, and we'll move on. And, and they've done that. Great. The boys have been brilliant, haven't they? They have, they really Honestly, have. Mate, the boys oh, have been unbelievable. I've been, it's a good, good bunch. I was surprised, but I knew they were going to be good players, but the level they've been at. Yeah, has been unbelievable. I know it last in the season's no started yet, but the commitment, mm. the the hard work they've put in, um, and they are a, a very very hungry bunch, aren't they? They've been I know, amazing. Uh, I even really even players, small things, Kev. Like we start training at eight o'clock, and I'd be very surprised if you walked in your dressing room at ten past seven and every player was in there, oh, really? which is rare, mate. Wow. Again, usually part time level, you get in. Boys yeah. are running in ten minutes before training, putting their bag down and running out. Where the boys are in early, boys are up the gym and seeing the physio doing things properly. Out to training fifteen minutes before training starts. Yeah. So yeah, standards are very I watched a couple of the sessions in the early stages, the training sessions and the tempo, the keep ball session stuff was one of the boy that beside me that's learned to try and coach as well. He was like, that's, is, that, is that what it's like at a professional level? And I says, mm. it's probably a wee bit higher. I says, but no much. Mm. I says, because professional players can keep the ball very, very well in small spaces. He says, that's rapid in there, eh? I says, that, that's, that's what it is. I mm. says, that's the level you've got to get to. And, he was very impressed, but no, like you say, these boys that you've brought in, Simon, and the, and, and the group, they must see the potential of the journey. Yeah. So they don't want to mess about with it. They want to yeah, be there on time, yeah. do everything they're being told to do. They're, they're being told to do things because we want experience, to make them better. To make them better. Exactly. They're not being told to do things because yeah. it's to annoy them or upset their feelings. It's to be better and get the team to be better. The team to get better, the, the results become better. Yeah. They go through that journey because some of the young boys, I mean, I was impressed with the, the, the young striker. What was his name? Um, Simp? Simple. Simp- uh, aye, brilliant. Simple. Aye, good aye, great t- touch. Like, very good. Awareness, balance with the ball. And I thought... Well, yeah, he obviously never watched him last Saturday, but he has been good. At aye. Uh, <laughs> um, and I just think that... He's, what is he, 21, 22 young, or something like that? 20, mate. Still, eh? Like, I'm looking at him thinking, God, if you get yourself right... You can go and play at a good level. You can go up can again and play somewhere else. Mm-hmm. That's the opportunity of these guys. And I open goal, whatever it is, we're going to give these people... A, a bigger platform, platform yeah. than what they would normally get. Nobody's talking about other teams are talking about open goal. We are going to be, I say we, I'm part of the, the battery staff, but you boys are going to be the scout this season. That's mm-hmm. what you want. Brilliant. Of That's you what do. you want. Of course, of course you, you want. You want to be that team that everybody wants yeah. to be. Come the end of the season, we'll see where, where everybody is, and then you, you reflect could it be positive? Well, could it be well, negative? Pepsi. Pressure is a, pliver- a privilege. There you go. Mm-hmm. Of course, it is. It has to be. a privilege. There you go. You don't press yourself in life for anything. What's the point? Yep. Correct. Talking what? about that. Right, that podcast is going to the top by it. It's all about pressure and hard work. He's talking about his shorts. <laughs> My shorts. <laughs> <laughs> his t shirt. <laughs> yeah, you can breathe it, then, mate. The car back in the I'm sweating here. <laughs> You're going to have the pressure when you're in the hot seat here, hosting Slay, by the way, with these I don't know how that'll go. Hosting for the whole right, show. So how are you going to open it? I'm do, I just genuinely I'm going to get a guest who open it first ever host. That's ah, always your problem, isn't it? Aye, uh, opening it. Aye. So that'll be I'll get one of the guests who fucking want to. That's a Why good don't we just get Lewis to come in, do the opening, and then just walk in and just leave? Aye, aye. 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 I'll help you out. Don't worry. I talk about pressure. Shorts aside, mate. The the comeback documentary you've been working off a lot. Terrible, isn't it? Boring, isn't it? Turned out after ten minutes. Do you know what? It was actually mate. Actually, thought he was acting a wee bit as well, man. 
Hey, were you acting was there? Seriously. No, do you know what? For once, since I've been here, <laughs> it was brilliant. It was more seri- it was a, a serious yeah, side of me. It was. Um, and I have, listen, I've banged on about being injured and stuff, but no, probably at the level I went to on that. Yeah. I mean, I went through all the injuries and stuff. Um, and it was tough. To, I, I hate you know, it sort of can put you into a dark place when you start talking about that type of stuff. Um, so when I was talking about it or whatever, it was, it's not really nice to fight back, you yeah. know what I mean? But I think it was probably a time where I had to, because you, you don't want to see a, a clown every week, don't you no. know? Just act like I'm up at every week, people are like, what is this guy all about? So it was nice to see a serious side. That being said, I'm up behind. Um, you were you were so uh, you were so close to, you were joining in quite a lot. Yeah. And then a wee bit hit with sir. I'm struggling. You, 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 without me, the, the runs have been hard. Yeah. He joined in on a full set and he no far off the Aye. And I'm still I'm speaking to I'm speaking to you about And we are the boys are really fit. Aye, I can imagine. They're really fit the boys. I, I, that was the, the, the got to a certain level, but when the boys came in it was like fuck a whole Take new level up. again. Yeah, yeah. Um but it is a long season. Um, yeah. And my dream is still to still to make it and play. Um yeah. but that's listen, it's it's still needs to be a lot of hard work. I need to make sure this is gonna be right. Um but that is that is still the dream. But the even our boys, off. to tell you the type of yeah. people that are, they're, I never knew this. He told, came up and told me that the boys are coming up to him like that. after they runs and he joins in. They're like that. Younger boys, twenty twenty one, like that. Saying you can do this. Ah, uh, the, the, the boys are amazing. Encouraging yeah. them, saying that's what you need. Because what I was saying, because it's quite easy for them. It's like, oh, this is all about yeah. us. Because it's not. It's fuck. It's generally, it's fuck all about me. This is about the boys that have signed. They're the ones that go into the pitch on Saturday and do it, uh, put the hard work in through through the week. Um, but I was a wee bit worried because it, it was genuine, but yeah. because I wasn't maybe training as much as I was or doing as much as him, I was a bit worried when it came out thinking, they're going to think this is just for yeah. for me or whatever it was. Uh, but they were the opposite. They were really supportive, they were brilliant. Um, but the, the, the main thing is, it is about the boys. Um, and hopefully they get it. Well, we've got a world exclusive. There's another oh. comeback documentary. Kevin Kyle's trying to come back to getting his 40 inch jeans after he's holiday. <laughs> That'll be brilliant. Not sponsored by Uber Eats, I'm sure. <laughs> could be a long, could be a long document. Oh, I'm actually thinking. Of, uh, <laughs> I'm maybe thinking of join, come and join the train. You can put me through my paces. I told you, I, come up to training. I know. But I know you came that night, but come up any time. See, mate. when we were talking about at the start there about that hip thing. Aye. You had the same problem, didn't Aye, you? Aye, I, I had. I've, I've got the same problem as you. But I've had more surgery probably to try and get it better. Yeah, whereas you yeah. still have. The initial problem that was fixed, but the bigger problem still causing you the. Yeah. So yeah. Like you gave up at that time when you would have given up. There wasn't a lot of hip help. Yeah. Because it was the same as me. But now there is that help. But do you want to put yourself through that process of having to go for another big operation to fix a part? If it, what you're describing is exactly what I've described and exactly what every other person I've ever spoke to with a hip problem <clears throat> describes. You have a bit of your cartilage that flaps, you shave it off. But the problem is the bone rubs and it's bone v bone like you say every now and then you'll get up and you go, oh, what's that other thing catching. you do that's bone on bone? <laughs> I love that. But the thing is, once you're and going and you're, you're running and you're, 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 you're getting in a bullet, you don't feel it. But that's it's afterwards. The, that's the big issue when you get going, you think, you, you think, fucking I'm fine. Aye. But see, the next, the next day, it's taking two, three, three, four days to recover. Can't move. And then you're asked, yeah. being asked to train Monday, Wednesday, play on a Saturday, you're probably thinking ahead, right, I can train on a Monday. But then I couldn't train the Wednesday. Am I going to be available to play on a Saturday? You just maybe need to try and get a program somewhere where I get with a physio and mm-hmm. try and manage it better. Because, mm-hmm. like, like you say, you can run about, you can play. You yeah. just need to figure out how can you manage it better to benefit you, benefit the team. We see when you were recruiting Sai and you're talking about the how the boys have been helping lift Slain up. Are you taking into account their type oh, of person, their personality? Mate. Is that more just as important as ability? Well, from I you? say, mate, you need a certain type of personality to come play for us because we are going to ask you to be so brave and. A lot of that doesn't come down to ability, mate. it comes down yeah. to personality. Yeah. Who's got that personality going to be brave when they've maybe made a mistake and the crowd are getting on the back, go and take the ball again. So yeah. personality is massive, mate. Yeah. I think there's got to be that connection between you and your, your players. So um, that's why I went and met every single one of them. Yeah. I actually spent about a, a fucking grand meeting people. Ah, I do. coffees and some of them took the piss and got three course meals. But <laughs> quite liked that. Quite liked that they were taking the piss. Everyone thinks you're absolutely caked with the hydro shows. Don't they? Absolutely not, mate. <laughs> Petrol, coffees, I've never spent so much. I've yeah. tapped shit in it. And you've tapped it as well. So. <laughs> but on him, I never realised how many injuries you actually had. Been serious. There's so many people yeah. say that, mate. Eh? Because... It, I hate, see when I came on the podcast, I, I hate the fact that I don't know what to talk about that. Yeah. Because people have actually real problems in life, do you know what I mean? I don't want to be sucked up to the fancy of the game, because I seem to be doing that a lot now, but... <laughs> and I like that, that way route to go down, but... <laughs> where, where that is, 
<laughs> people, they don't like they don't want to listen to a podcast and be cheered up. They don't want yeah. somebody banging on about Aye. this or that. So I never really wanted to go into it, but really, but my career was obviously almost done. No, no done, but I mean, you can, no matter who you are, no matter if you're the best player in the world, you couldn't. Yeah. If you've got the engines, you can't play. Yeah. And same with Celtic, it was obviously the dream come true. Um, and then looking back at that, actually, I actually can't even think back to playing at Celtic. How much your injury pills was you put down to chasing Stephen Craig and his <laughs> He started it off. <laughs> he did. He caused a lot of it. You, you, you sit here and you, you think that you describing your injury problems and your, how it made you feel you didn't want to harp on about it. And you say other people have got problems in life. But other people have got other problems in life. You're just showing that you can come through them. Aye. It's an example in a different way. Aye. So you keep talking about it because somebody, somebody out there that might have something... Take inspiration from Take inspiration it. from the fact that you've done that. Yeah. That's, that's the key. So... Yeah. I'm going to actually keep going with it. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. See, see, we know later on. That's a good. I want to cut this. I know. See, as a kid. Oh, for fuck's sake. Say, when I was a kid. <laughs> get, get the tissues here. Hey, Charlie. Got any? It's a cracking picture, isn't it? Yeah. Who's that? What's Jack Ross doing on there? Stranger. So big, Charlie, up at the golf on Sunday. Did you? There's a few of the boys up there. I went for uh, breakfast when we met on Tuesday. Never the mentioned that. Mate, I never. Oh, the opener, huh? Yeah. I, I never. I, I know who I saw on the, the, the bus back to the car. What do you call that boy that plays with Dundee? Cammy Gear. Uh-huh. Yeah. And Niall again. I had to put the fucking. That'd have been a good laugh in that moment. Because I, I, I could have lost chat history that night. Because be yeah. I've, I've gave Cammy Gear a bit of oh, a tough time on here. Oh, Cammy so. doesn't bother, mate. Good. <laughs> he doesn't bother. See, we were talking about obviously players who want to come play because of the, the crowds, the, the following that the open goal has. There's also got to be a big element of these players looking at the level and the people that you've worked with and played with, like Sir Burns and all these guys that you can they can soak up information from you guys. Surely. Well, I think, I think players now want to, they want to be taught, they want to be coached, yeah. and as we say, we, we do that. It's not it's a case of turning up and doing a pointless fucking passing draw. Or yeah. We've got a way we want to play, and we think yeah. we know how to coach it. So again, the big pull as well for the players is that. I've, I've said this a few times that I've been thinking about how I want to play for about 18 months yeah. now and the, the exact type of uh, personnel that I need for every single position so know that it almost is like I've went and picked him I yeah. picked him because I know that he can do that in that certain position he can do that I think I can make you better in that position at yeah. this and that and um, I, like I say I think a big thing for players now is not just money but they're going to get yeah. coached they're going to get, get better. better and it'll give them a chance to then and the demands will get put on them yeah. it'll give them a better chance of going playing higher how important is patience with it as well though because it's not just going to be instant is it and like fans need to be patient players need to be patient because it's not going to be overnight no of course I, again I think they finished 15 last year yeah of course right? and um, mm-hmm. I think there's still five boys for that squad so and you look at somebody like Spartans I think the manager's been there for like 10 Aye, years well, and they've got a good core of a squad who have been yeah. there for years so of course that helps we're putting a, squ- a squad together within right. six weeks yeah. to go and play a team that have been together for two or three years they've also recruited well in the summer as well to yeah, add to that yeah. strong squad so listen it's not going to be easy we've told yeah. the boys that but I've got a great belief in what we've got I've got a lot of faith in the boys um, and I'm quietly confident that we can go and, and try and win every game of football um, yeah. I, I, I think that's that's how good our boys are. Um, but again, it'll be well, interesting to see. Yeah, it's not going to be easy, but I, I no. fully back him. I love the boys out to bits. So that, remember that? He went like to me, right? So <laughs> I've said, I don't. You, when you do talk, it's so, it's so meaningful and it's yeah. got a purpose and it's fucking sort of proper, like your hair's done up your arse. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's because you've got the hair dryer on it. <laughs> like, like, the you is, uh, you'll see it in the documentary, it's amazing. <laughs> um, so isn't it? I, I always found Kevin. You probably find this as well when you when you were a player and the manager spoke and he's like, "These coaches, right? You speak now." And you're like, "You just speak for the sake of it." Um, <laughs> so I would say it's, it's no real point. But one one guy, I, the assistant wasn't there, so she was telling you what to say. And, and Matt Ars, mate, I just completely froze. And I'm like, ah, I just love you, boys. <laughs> oh, I just love every yeah. single one of you. Oh, he's amazing. just saying, I'm proud. He's not. I think it was a bit of a weekend. What was trembling? Mate. It's weird, mate. Some, some it things up, when you're there, and that, I don't know what it is. Your, your head goes fucking blank. <laughs> I know you don't feel it, but just sometimes your head goes blank. It's done. No, sometimes it does go blank. Isn't it? Um, yeah. Sometimes when you're angry, mate. Yeah. Well, there are times where you don't even have to say anything and you just actually give the silent treatment a bit. Well, no, that. just now for me because, no, because we've yeah, just got the boys in, yeah. mate. I, I, need to, I feel like I need to be on them constantly. Yeah. Mate. There's no, we've not got time, we're only in two nights a week. I've not got time for fucking silence as a mind oh, game yeah, just yeah, now. Exactly. I need to get across what my ideas are now yeah. and they need to get that in the first six weeks. Yeah. Because like I say, I want to win straight away, mate. Yeah, I know we're saying it might take a bit of time, but like I say, what I've got in that dressing room and what we've worked on, I'm expecting us to go to try and win straight away. So... 
Nah, there's been no silences, mate. There's been <laughs> constant information. Um, but again, it will ease off. When I see that the boys are getting it, then there will be times right, for silences yeah. and there's no need More to... More use chill. But at, at this moment in time, no, it's constant. Yeah. Making sure things are, are in place to try and win that first game on Saturday. Is recruitment pretty much wrapped up then? Are you all set? Is there... Might be a couple getting released. A couple getting released? Ah, even more this thing. my last day, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> pretty much settled. Maybe one or two loans here and there, but I've got our main core of right. players now, so... Good, good. Kev, the big day then, coming around the corner. Obviously, Coventry ready to go, but Broadwood, we've not really spoke about the fact that you know, playing at Broadwood's just going to be... Five super. minutes for his house. Yeah, yeah, aye, convenient. convenient. I'll maybe walk, but then I'll, I'll take it off. <laughs> Broadwood's a great venue because of the, the stadium itself. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's got the, the, all the facilities there that's needed. But as Simon would probably agree, it's the size of the park. Yeah. It's a lovely, big, brand new, kind of tough fitted park that's yeah. huge, plenty of room to play the way Simon wants to do it. You get your boys fit enough, they can run on that park for 90 minutes if, yeah. you, if, if, you're, if you're chasing the ball for large parts of the game you're going to find it difficult there mm -hmm. um, so you've got to factor in all this when you're like Simon's obviously looked into that great, de great, de great detail because there was other options yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but Broadwood fits the bill and fits I think as well for Cumbernauld in the community I think it's a yeah. good thing because obviously yeah there's, there's, there's Cumbernauld Colts here and they, and they do a lot of work with the community um, but Cumbernauld's a big place I think it's probably one of Scotland's biggest towns so yeah. there's room for another team um, and obviously Broomhill new to the new to the area and stuff and um, Listen, it's just the beginning. God knows what can happen. Um, but I'm looking forward to it because I'm looking forward to most of seeing how the boys do. Yeah. How the team blends over the course of a season. I'm looking forward to taking a completely new role and yeah. like analysing stuff and things like that, be able to question Simon a wee bit more and he can give me answers to why that then helps my learning experience. Yeah. It's all right having maybe more experience in terms of I'm older. Yeah. But in terms of coaching and things like that, Simon's been coaching for the last maybe two, three years at Peterhead. Whereas I've just been coaching kids and trying to do bits and bobs here. So yeah. it'll help me. It'll help me also understand the league, um, the players involved with it. I'm interested to see younger players, why they're there. Yeah. I want to try and figure out what's happened to them at some point in their career, why have they ended up there. Because yeah. for me, you're, there's these players, I'm sure there's loads of players, and Simon probably agree with this, and Slain as well. There's probably a lot of players in there with the right coach and the right guidance go, could go yeah, back up the way. Yeah. And sometimes that's forgotten a bit. Sometimes you feel when you come down, that's sure you're down forever. Yeah. No so I'm, 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 I'm excited to see how that goes. And obviously it'll help my development, but hopefully I can come across um, neutral to the point that I can't, I can't be biased towards. No, I'll give us it, because I don't, think he, I don't think he would agree with that. No, I don't yeah. think he would accept it. And we'll argue, we'll have opinions that are different. But at the end of the day, we, we'll try and be like we are on the podcast where. We try and give an honest football opinion from from guys who have, we've experienced the game. Yeah. We understand that we see yeah. through our eyes. We'll give our opinion. It might not be right. It might not be wrong. But it's mine. And no, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a really good experience. And like I say, it's only down the road. And I'm looking forward yeah. to some of the away games, especially like going up to maybe Whitehill Welfare's going to play like Hearts B. That'll be good and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I, no, I'm looking forward to it. It'll be, it'll be a good journey. And like I say, from a different angle. I'll probably see things a bit differently to him on the touchline because I'm going to be up there yeah. and you can see the size of the park. I know. It's, it's always easier watching games on the TV. Yeah. And no, it'll be good. It'll be a win-win for everybody and hopefully, let's like say, I can come across a bit more fucking excited <laughs> than I am on the podcast. <laughs> oh, no. I'm looking forward to it. It'll be great. I'm aye. glad to be a part yeah, of it in some way. Has any of your kind of people you've worked with over the years, the old former managers, not been in touch with you this week, mate, ahead of the game? I know they've spoke to you obviously since you took the job, but... Ahead of the first game, you heard nah, from No, not really. No, not really. Um, I'm trying to think, has anybody been in touch with us this week? I mean, I said no. If I'm trying to get, <laughs> my phone's not been started. A couple of boys are going out on loan, so I'm trying to get that yeah. sorted just now. Uh, a couple of younger boys. Um, so I'm trying to get a team that's going to let, us, like, let them train with us one night a week so we can help nice, them develop, yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> but then go and play with them at the weekend. So try to get that. This, uh, and then most of the managers... I'll be preparing for their end games. <clears throat> Guys that I speak to, Tom has been on. Tom has been asking how's, how things are going. I think Tom will know Spartans quite well, so I'm a paranoid yeah. bit, mate, so I'm telling him fuck all. Aye, so I don't know if he's going to tell him. Aye, Honestly, exactly. mate, see, see, I've got to the stage now where I'm missing out on signings and stuff like that. <laughs> tell him, maybe Dean Yeah. Um, so well, I was, was going to ask you about your Spartans and obviously how you're feeling for the game. You don't want to give too much away about them, but you've obviously been prepped for them, watching them quite a bit, haven't you? Ahead of the game. I have. We've watched Spartans a couple of times. Um, we know what they're about. Uh, they've got good players that have played at good levels. Um, like I say, the manager's been there yeah. for years. I'd imagine they've got a right good team spirit about the place. Uh, they've added well. 
Um, Boy Armstrong for Cali Braves is probably one of the best midfielders in the league last year. Yeah. Fortunately for us, he's suspended on Saturday, hmm. which is good. But guys like Blair Henderson, I played against him in the leagues when I was at Peterhead, he was at Edinburgh. I think he scored 30 goals in League 2 one year when we played against him. So he'll be a handful. <clears throat> um, and again, I just genuinely think they're a good low yeah. league team. But I expect a lot of teams this year, I think it'll be a very it'll strong league this year. It'll be very hard. I think it's better. They've signed well. Um, obviously, you look at. Um, Spartans recruitment they've been signed yep. Bonnie Rig striker as well yeah. um, who won the league last year so they, they've recruited well um, as have a number of teams so every week if, we, if we're not on it and I've said this to the boys if we're off it for a second we'll be in for a yep. shock so it's important that we go on my game plan and the boys go on my maximum intensity and they try and carry that game plan hmm. if we do that we'll be alright like I say if we're done and we're off it for a second then we'll be in for a shock Next we'll go to Cowdenbeath again Tuesday yeah. who've been in League 2 for yeah, years yeah. Good manager and Morris Ross as well. So like I say, we need to be on it Saturday and then you need to go again Tuesday. No yep. excuses. No excuses. Never. Not 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 an excuse for most exactly. We'll start to wrap up, lads, but I just want to ask a, a question. I'm interested to, to hear your thoughts on this. When you when all this started out, Shai, and, and when you guys came on board, did you ever think it would get to this point? Look at where you are now. You're about to actually go to a competitive match at the weekend. Think about when it all started. Do you want to take this? No, I just I want to ask you I, so obviously no. Where's the question? They're good enough. Like. No, no, it's. it's, it's <laughs> that idea, I try to get him out the door. So, see, see, see if he asked me the same question, he just asked me. <laughs> <clears throat> did you? Did you see? <laughs> 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 no, so, do you want me to answer his first or just. Why don't you answer his and then I'll ask. You thought. Aye, you thought. Good in. Thought, good in. Uh, I think we've said it before. I've, obviously, we never thought we could yeah. get to this level. Uh, I thought we'd do five interviews and it'd be on his ass, being yeah. honest, mate. But. Um, but that's a, a great thing about this is, and again, why I've decided to do this. The guys behind the scenes are so ambitious. They want to do well. They want to evolve, which I want. I don't want to be again. Just if we are in the league, I don't want to be a team that just happy to stay in the Stagnate, league. Sorry. Every time, every day, we want to be the best at it. So that's why I decided to do this. And um, so, in terms of because I know what's behind the scenes and how much hard work goes in, it, it is. It doesn't surprise me that we're now at this at this stage. So. I'm delighted that it's happened. This kind of seemed like the natural progression. progression yeah, so. yeah. Well, well, I mean, so, any, so I, anybody who's been football can say we're going to be a manager, but you're so. Where do you? Where did you get that vision? How you want to play like that? Do you know what I mean? Mm, that? Good mm. question. Because when, when I watch, because being being such a young manager, and I've, I would say this to any sort of young manager, watching you sort of do your stuff is. You'd, I would think that'd be a mere experience manager has learned mm. that and this is where I want to be, but being so young how have you got that vision already this is how I want to do this and what I, you've got all your sort of the sessions you just put on for a reason mm. yeah where did that how did that come that's how I've always liked playing football <clears throat> I, I was a centre midfielder a manager's going to kick the ball to the pitch I'd say to him you may as well fucking play somebody else because I'm not going to yeah, go and second boys mm. I want to pass the ball on the deck Tommy Burns was obviously a massive influence Every we done it set up, you played it. Yeah. You were brave, you had to go and get the ball, express yourself. Uh, and then off the ball, and a lot of what we do on the ball as well, Decanio, mate. Decanio yeah. really changed my thinking about what preparation means for yeah. a football team. If you turn up and you're fucking well prepared and you've got good players, I think you've got half a chance of winning football games. If you want to dominate the ball, I think it also gives you a better chance of winning. Uh, and he was all about that, dominating yeah. the ball and being very well organised off it. And then you need the players with the personality, and that's what he done well as well. Along with his coaching, he signed fucking good personalities. Yeah, yeah. Um, so probably between the two, the Canio and Tommy Burns would be a mix of how I want to play. Uh, it's, from that, it's from that experience of working with these types of people that lead you to where you are. Yeah, right now because because the demands they put on you as well, Kev. And that's what got the best out of me. You don't ever, and this will go for every footballer. You only ever remember your bad managers because of how bad they were. Mm. But see the ones that were prominent in your career. I know the ones that were probably in my career and if I get ever get a chance if like I will use some of the things that yeah. they did and the way they did it because it worked for me and my teams yeah. under them. Mm. And I think that's important. It's the experience you've learned through playing professional football yeah. for the amount of years that you did that helps massively. But like you say, podcast to a football club. Not bad, is it? I mean the, the podcast is not going to go anywhere. We'll still talk chat shit yeah. about the Scottish Premiership on a Monday, but we're going to have this one and this yep. one with Slaney myself and when you, whenever you're free, <laughs> um, we're going to uh, we'll have guests on for the lower leagues, and I think that's going to be a right good insight because for yeah. years, like I'll, I'll be the first to admit it, having played in England for ten years and come back up to Scotland for five, six years, 
They don't really took much interest in the lower leagues yeah. junior football. I've still to this day never watched a, a junior game of football. Have you done it? No, no. never. And it's Probably. no, it's not, it's not for the want of not wanting to go and watch it. I don't think I've just never yeah. been. I've never thought, oh, I'll go and watch. Whereas now I'm really excited about it because now in junior football, there's a lot of things happening. Junior lower league football, there's a lot of things happening where club chairman and clubs now have a vision beyond because of the pyramid system. Mm-hmm. Before, I used to just, there wasn't anywhere to go. Yep. Whereas now, you see the, the, the success of Kelty Hearts. Mm-hmm. Covid, that been yeah, another Covid's one. Yeah, Covid as well, yeah. Bonnie Riggle. Bonnie come up. Yeah, yeah. Um, Darvel's obviously tried to do it in, yeah. in the Ayrshire side of things, yeah. but it didn't quite happen last year in the playoff. They will try again. Yeah. Yeah. Broomhill's now going to do it. You've got the Spartans, that. you've got East Cabride. They're all going to try and do it because they now see a path. And, like, and then if you go even further forward, into, like I talked about last year, Queen's Park and Cove now in the championship, right? Yeah. The championship last year for me was very poor. Yeah. With the right Achieve. finance back in and getting the right players in, there's absolutely no reason why those two teams couldn't be challenged into a playoff situation that might end no. up in the excited. Premier League. It's been good today. So you have to have a vision, whereas I think there's a lot of teams in the lower league, especially second division, are they forward thinking? And what's going to happen is they're going to disappear at the league and we're going to see them disappear, i.e. the likes of East Stirling, the teams that are. I know they're still kicking about in some format, but they're further away than they ever have been. So you've got to plan properly that this is going to be a right good journey and it's going to be the, the, the Lowland League and the junior football and things like that's going to get a lot of great exposure from us yeah. because we're going to have different players on, different characters and like Sainy says, so he says, there will be far better characters in the lower league through the experiences yeah. of yeah, yeah. rejection, through having to go and do a job and then all of a sudden it's going to be brilliant. I think well, it's just going so to go for strength to strength. Biggest person out on the podcast, a lower league player, a lower league player. So Correct. She tells you. So, I wasn't going to have you on my show, but you've actually done quite well, we do. Make you your own for you keep- What I'm going to say is, though, and I, and I mean this, match day, where we are right now, where we do the podcast, we can we could get yourself down here to bad, yep. get drinks, 15 minutes away in a taxi, get yourself a few drinks here, enjoy it nice, and then get yourself the game ready to go. If you're there a bit early, go into the wee pub beside the stadium, as we've said. Derek oh, Ferguson will be in there, Sounds great, eh? Derek will yeah. be in my mum's doing a half-time show, aren't you? What? <laughs> <laughs> what was the show again she said to you? Ping, did you get the ping pong boss from? Hi, <laughs> ping, and Bobby Maddox is involved at all, isn't it? They two will be doing it, but listen. His head was a ping pong ball. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> right, so they two, they two will be doing half time, so if you're listening again, if you're a wee bit sort of, you're gassed after the first half performance, <laughs> then listen, half time's here, but make sure you're there. But listen, as I said, the nine pound a ticket as well. Get your tickets. Uh, link in the description below, guys. Get yourself, get yourself, nine, six pound for kids. Get yourself a season ticket. I know yep. times are tough now, but a hundred quid you're getting eighteen games of football. Mm-hmm. Yep. Walking yeah. out just over a five or a ticket, that's good value. And the scope, money. as we spoke about for Friday night football, could be brilliant as well. Scope has got to be, mate, especially at this level. Um, we know each sort of city of Scotland have got their own clubs. Teams, yep. So you, you, Friday night's going to get great exposure for this. Financially, can help a lot of clubs. Can give a lot of people amazing memories and. Uh, my ma prefers the Friday nights, didn't she? No, she Saturday, likes so. she likes under the lights, didn't she? Ah, she likes under the lights. No, but listen, we, does she not like playing Saturday <laughs> afternoon? No, she's quiet on the Saturday. She doesn't like all that nonsense. So, uh, <laughs> we're the, the, we're the, I'm going to say that. She was brilliant by the way, we need to talk she, about her on the documentary. Aye. I've, brilliant. No, I'm not going to take it. I actually thought she stole the show a wee bit. I, I, thought, I, I wish your sister would let her talk for a couple of seconds. Fuck me. No. She I was an embarrassment. <laughs> she was terrible. They were one of the highlights, I thought. They were no, my mum was a highlight. They were a <laughs> nobody's ever nobody's ever said a bad word about your mum she's Anyone the most ever had well, that place George George, George, George Lander, right? that was, that, 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 that's that's role play in his bag. that's role play so that's there's a reason why that is but <laughs> if you've ever been in you Susie Slane's company you she's couldn't possibly uh, not love her why was George on the just sniffing <laughs> the bag outside, weren't he? Couldn't get enough of his bag. But no, but my mum's the most magical wee woman <laughs> in the world and I think you could see right through that she was so genuine but generally yeah. God's honest truth we had never spoken about Manzies Ever that whole time. You kind of tell that, mate. I we we never. I couldn't ever ever speak about it. I locked myself up in the room for so so long, and then mate, went away to America and stuff, and we never spoke about it. And she was obviously worried sick. Obviously, they got everything in the documentary, but at the time yeah. of being out of football, made that about myself again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <But> <laughs> actually, this is your show. Just got away from it. Ah, it is my show, but it's uh, the what is it called? <laughs> Have we got a name for this? Oh, no, no, that'll change. change. That'll change. <laughs> that'll change. I'll change the name of that. Uh, but <laughs> in the times of when it was just sort of me in the house, but after football had left, there was a lot of sort of sort of. What were you doing in the house on your end? Brilliant, loved it. I can't get it anyway. Well, see the farm foods bags. What would their usual shop be for? Talk to a typical slain weekly shopping farm. They used to. I know nobody. I don't know if it's really that. Liver or not? Aye. Oh, cod liver. Cod liver oil. Aye. Stuff. What else? But see, 
My man died. <laughs> well, my dad, I suppose. Spam. Spam. Aye, tins of spam. Like a free bent those pies. Uh-huh. <laughs> Aye. Aye. No problem. On the, on the on open goal, I never ever thought the hydro would be possible and that night we walked yeah. out there and experienced that atmosphere. I didn't think you could top this. But see the first friendly, seeing him at the side and seeing the boys wearing the strips, being out there and seeing come, yeah. that, that's that what we old talk strips, it. That was the old strips, but <laughs> irrelevant to the story. <laughs> I never thought that we all grew up <laughs> playing football in the streets, loving football, playing Playing for that, yeah. that is all passion, and to see a team out of this is, I think it. You were in, you were teary at the side, didn't you? I still think great now. And he loves all the boys. He's he's finding the emotion. Oh. And I, are you are you right? Take your time. Take, take your time. Take, take, take your time, me man. No, but what, what is uh, <laughs> but to see? He went blank again. The most part <laughs> that that's that tops everything to be a a, a fan of the team and fans are supporting you. Quite Remember like, the big man enjoyed his day at Wembley when he was a fan. You enjoyed I that, didn't you? That. You done it yeah, on the pitch. Listen, Only, I would never go to Wembley as a fan, mate. Not after what I've done on the pitch. <laughs> hey ho. <laughs> no, I, I would agree with you, Simon. I totally agree with you, but I wouldn't have to cut myself out that League Two shirt. It's League One, same, same, same level you watched. Was it to see you so again? That is good to see. I think good, lads. That was good today, huh? How do you feel? Be I part of the whole team now. It was, good. it was really good. It's a low point in your career. Be this is this is right up there in the high Pinnacle. points. It's got. Has it got to be? What are you going to go and date yourself after this? When you get the news, got to die down. <laughs> Straight to Farmfoods. Straight to that. I'll find you a shop. Straight to Farmfoods and, and uh, excuse me, where's the laundry aisle? I'll have you. <laughs> Listen, no, no don't, don't panic too much. I'm going to have a meet with producers to see if we can bring you on in again. But yeah. we'll see you won't be here then. It's a pundit. No, no, no. The minute I can bring me in stuff if I need in it. But... <laughs> <laughs> no, we have a speaker. Listen, the name will get changed as well. So, no, listen, we're on. Good. I think Good I'm telling you now, if I get put host of a show, this will What does that mean for the other one to that you'll just host that as well? No, I'm looking on that. Right. If it's gone shit, I'll try to get back on it. But to start, if it's gone, if it, this starts, if I ain't got to fly, big man, we going bigger. Yeah. I who, think who, so. Who could we get? Who could be my guest? I know, I know certain people. Do you? Aye, <laughs> I know certain people to bring on. But no, listen, boys, great to see it's you. It's been a pleasure. It's amazing. Well, it's all the best. Thanks. Thanks. Cheers, Lewis. Thanks for having me. Cheers for having me. What are you going to see us wear in the commentary box? Seriously, please tell us. Please be naked. I'm starting like, like, like a fucking pair of jeans and a leather waistcoat or something. <laughs> Maybe a pair of like cowboy boots or something. <laughs> <laughs> Boys, thank you very much. Cheers, 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 lads.